And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven, saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ. And he shall reign forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders, which sat before God in their seats, fell upon their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thee thanks, O Lord God Almighty, which art and wast, and art to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power, and hast reigned. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged, and that thou shouldst give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldst destroy them which destroy the earth. Those of us who come from a Christian background, we have been taught that the moment you die, that you're either heaven or hell bound. We have been conditioned in the beast culture's religion system about the great judgment day. A popular doctrine that comes from the pulpits of religious leaders is that those who believe in the Messiah would spend eternity in heaven. Those who did not accept the Messiah would spend eternity in damnation in a place religious leaders call hell. Religion don't dive deep into the operations of the Most High. The scripture said to us in the book of Revelation that everyone will be judged based on what is written about them in the book of life. Mankind will be judged based on their works. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. For multiple generations, the high-level workers of iniquity and religion enforced that the only way to heaven is to accept the Messiah as your Lord and Savior, making him your God. Indigenous black people, the only way to understand the scriptures, the Most High through his Holy Spirit must reveal the truth to you. The message the real Messiah came to deliver to the people of the Most High is to adhere to the statutes, commandments, and laws of the Most High. Anyone who listens and follow the teachings the Messiah taught the people of the Most High, they would spend eternity with the Most High in peace and harmony, like the scripture said. There would be no more death and pain. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, but the former things are passed away. The Messiah sent by the Most High taught the people about the Father who sent him, his laws, statutes, and commandments. If you live your life according to the teachings the Messiah taught the people with a repentant heart, your lifestyle would be pleasing to the Father, the Most High. What is written down about you in the book of life would satisfy the Most High because your works would correspond with the statutes, laws, and commandments of the Most High. Remember, the scripture said, you will be judged based on your works. The Messiah said, if any man wants to follow me, you must deny yourself and take up your cross. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Following the Messiah means believing in his teachings and the lifestyle he promoted that can save your life. The Messiah taught the people how to live a life that is pleasing to the Most High. If you follow the Messiah's message and lifestyle wholeheartedly, you will spend eternity with the Most High. Satan's religious institution tricked the people into idol worship and transformed the Messiah into a God. Religion dubbed the Messiah God in the flesh. By doing this, the sin of idolatry plagued the children of men. The Most High will not share his glory with anyone according to the scriptures. You can admire the Messiah for all that he has done and continue to do, but you must worship the Father, the Most High. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. 
Not too many people are aware that they must worship the Most High. Many people do not understand the scriptures. I often quote the verse in John that states, A time is coming when the true worshipers must worship in spirit and in truth. The verse said the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. The verse went on to say the Father, the Most High, want his people to worship him. The verse did not say to worship the Messiah. Often in the scriptures, the Messiah differentiate himself from the Father. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. The truth is in plain sight. The Most High through His Spirit must reveal it to you. Despite of all the alterations done to the scriptures, the truth can be found. Israelites and indigenous black people of the world, what is popular with the world is an abomination with the Most High according to the scriptures. Now in the awakening is a good time to get to know the Father for yourselves. A lot of Israelites spend their life worshiping the one that was sent by the Father. The awakening is happening for you to finally get to know the Father, the Most High. At Judgment Day, your works will be backed by the Messiah because you followed the teachings and lifestyle of the real Messiah. If you're one of his sheep, remember the Messiah is the shepherd. The scripture said none of his sheep will be lost. He will lead all of his sheep back to the Father. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. If you want your name written in the book of life, repent, keep the commandments, the statutes, and laws. On judgment day, the Messiah will not deny you before the Father. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep. From the goats, and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, and inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. It is important to understand the purpose of the Messiah. The Messiah said in the scriptures, When you do good works by clothing and feeding the poor, Being an all-around good person, according to the most high standards, not by what mankind deem good. What people determine is good in the B system is not of the most high. On the outside, they appear to be doing good works. However, in the inside, they are cursing you. Make sure what's in your heart match your works. And I will kill her children with death. And all the churches shall know that I am he which searcheth the reins and hearts. And I will give unto every one of you according to your works. The Most High look at your heart. Make sure your heart is pure. A pure heart will produce good deeds. The scriptures reveal all the good deeds the people of the Most High do. It's like your deeds are done to the Most High. That is how your works are being evaluated. On Judgment Day, stop thinking you only need to believe in the Messiah. A lot of indigenous black people need to examine themselves and correct their wicked ways. The indigenous black people have a reputation in the beast culture of not supporting their own and treating their own people very bad. The indigenous black community is plagued with domestic violence. The spirit of division plagued the black community. Majority of the Messiah's teachings was on how to treat each other and spread community love. When saw we thee a stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick or in prison? And came unto thee. And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. The other species of mankind do not have the problem of supporting their own and uplifting their own. They stand with their own even if they are wrong. That is why the Messiah was sent to the lost sheep, because the Israelites and indigenous black people need to learn how to love each other. If the indigenous black people were truly following the teachings from the Messiah, the spirit of hate, jealousy, and division would not be destroying the black community. If the heathens and the other species of mankind were truly following the teachings of the Messiah in the beast culture, discrimination and racism wouldn't exist. 
Israelites, do you want our present conditions of division, hate, violence, and many other negativity happening in the indigenous black community written about you and your people in the book of life? Do not let fake kindness and bad deeds overshadow your contributions. If you're truly a follower of the Messiah and you serve the Most High, good deeds follow when you keep the statutes, laws, and commandments of the Most High. If there be among you a poor man of one of thy brethren within any of thy gates in thy land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not harden thine heart, nor shut thine hand from thy poor brother, but thou shalt open thine hand wide unto him, and shalt surely lend him sufficient for his need in that which he wanteth. Any one who practice religion is on the broad road that leads to destruction. The scripture said many are on that road. Israelites, we must continue to crush the serpent's head by destroying the demonic doctrines from Satan's religious institutions that is keeping our people in bondage. Additionally, the demonic doctrines is leading many people to spend eternity in a place that is not reserved for the children of men. The church wisdom about the afterlife and eternity is very vague. The scripture said, eyes have not seen, nor has an ear heard what the Most High is preparing for those who love him. But as it is written, I hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. If the Most High has mansions and great things prepared for those who love him, why would he have the righteous spend the afterlife in heaven just to remove them from heaven to judge them? The scripture said it is appointed for men to die once after to judgment. In addition, the scripture said everyone will be judged and given account of their life. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment, so then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. The Bible gave an account of the Messiah's return. When he returns, the scripture said he will gather the elect after the tribulation period. The dead will awake first and those who did not die in the tribulation will be gathered with him. The Most High gave the Messiah the authority to judge the people at the first resurrection. The dead that awaken in the first resurrection will be judged, some to everlasting life and the others to damnation. For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. For as the Father hath life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself, and hath given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming, in the which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice, and shall come forth. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. For in those days the elect one shall arise, and he shall choose the righteous and holy from among them, for the day has drawn nigh that they should be saved. And the elect one shall in those days sit on my throne, and his mouth shall pour forth all the secrets of wisdom and counsel. For the Lord of Spirits has given them to him and has glorified him. The book of Revelation revealed at the first resurrection, the people who will reign with the Messiah are those who awake in the first resurrection and found to be righteous. The people who were murdered for the word. The people who did not take the mark of the beast, nor did they worship the image of the beast. They live and reign with the Messiah. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus, and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ. A thousand years. The scriptures went on to say the rest of the dead did not live again until the thousand years were finished. The scripture said, Blessed are those who participate in the first resurrection because they will not partake in the second death. But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. 
on such the second death hath no power. But they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. You will give an account of your life at the first resurrection or at judgment day. When the second death takes place and eternity begins, there is a realm where the righteous will spend eternity. That realm and Sheol are not the same. The book of Enoch revealed more about the realm reserved for the righteous after judgment day. When we go deep, I don't expect many to understand the deep things of the most high. Religion culture deprive many of the truth. The awakening is happening to increase the people of the most high's understanding. The scripture said in the last days, knowledge would increase. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. As we explore the deep things of the Most High and go behind the scenes, I ask that you pray and ask the Most High to give you understanding. The messages are very clear for those with an ear to hear. Additionally, the messages are always back with the word of the Most High to help with your understanding. Listen with an ear to hear and ask the Most High to further your understanding. Remember, everyone must work out their own salvation, like the scripture said. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Your spirit is not floating around in the afterlife. If you're righteous, your spirit will be in Sheol in the section reserved for the righteous. If you're a sinner, the afterlife will be spent in Sheol in the section reserved for sinners who have not been judged and being tormented. Nobody's spirit will be floating around. Abraham revealed to us that Lazarus is being comforted in the afterlife. The scriptures reveal they cannot pass through the other sections in Sheol. Therefore, your spirit will be at rest for the righteous in the section reserved for the righteous in Sheol. But Abraham said, Son, Remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. Sheol is not hell like religion would have you believe. The book of Enoch reveals Sheol is another dimension in the afterlife created for the spirit of the children of men to assemble until judgment day. As I stated before, the Most High will not put the righteous in heaven, a realm created as the final resting place for the righteous, turn around and remove the righteous out of eternity when the resurrection happens to reign with the Messiah for a thousand years. Yeshua said, in my father's house, there are many mentions. I will go there to prepare a place for you. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. The book of Enoch referenced the place that has many mentions reserved for the righteous to spend eternity. Israelites, the Most High created many realms. Each realm has its purpose. The realm many people call heaven where the righteous would spend eternity is not Sheol. The scriptures reveal Sheol will be cast into the lake of fire at judgment day at the second death. Sheol will no longer exist when eternity begins. And in those days shall the earth also give back that which has been entrusted to it. And Sheol also shall give back that which it has received. And hell shall give back that which it owes. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. In Enoch's visions, the other dimensions that are surrounding the earth look like mountains. He would describe in his visions several mountains located on the north, west, east, and south of the earth. The watchers who was with him would explain to him what these places were and their purpose. The Most High appointed watchers over these dimensions. Uriel is appointed to watch over the world and over Tartarus. And these are the names of the holy angels who watch. Uriel, one of the holy angels who is over the world and over Tartarus. The watchers who sin are bound in the valley of the earth for 70 generations until the day of their judgment. The scriptures describe the place as a mountain. Its highest points reach to heaven. 
Tartarus is covered in darkness with flaming fire. It has no water or animals. Enoch described the place as being a waste and horrible. Many people in this generation refer to it as the underworld. And I saw a deep abyss with columns of heavenly fire, and among them I saw columns of fire fall, which were beyond measures alike towards the heights and towards the depth. And beyond that abyss I saw a place which had no firmament of the heaven above, and no firmly founded earth beneath it. There was no water upon it and no birds, but it was a waste and horrible place. I saw there seven stars like great burning mountains. And to me, when I inquired regarding them, the angel said, this place is the end of heaven and earth. This has become a prison for the stars and the hosts of heaven. And the Lord said unto Michael, go. Bind Semjazda and his associates who have united themselves with women so as to have defiled themselves with them in all their uncleanness. And when their sons have slain one another and they have seen the destruction of their beloved ones, bind them fast for 70 generations in the valley of the earth till the day of their judgment and of their consummation till the judgment that is forever and ever is consummated. In those days, they shall be led off to the abyss of fire. The realm called Tartarus is the prison for the angels and watchers who sinned. They will stay there until judgment day. After judgment day, they will be cast into the lake of fire. The same way Sheol is the place where the spirit of all men go in the afterlife. Tartarus is the holding place for the angels that sinned. After judgment day, the lake of fire is their eternity. And Uriel said to me, Here shall stand the angels who have connected themselves with women, and their spirits, assuming many different forms, are defiling mankind and shall lead them astray into sacrificing to demons as gods. Here shall they stand till the day of the great judgment in which they shall be judged till they are made an end of. Then I said, How fearful is the place and how terrible to look upon. Then Uriel answered me, one of the holy angels who was with me, and said unto me, Enoch, why hast thou such fear and fright? And I answered, because of this fearful place, and because of the spectacle of the pain. And he said unto me, this place is the prison of the angels, and here they will be imprisoned forever. There are many other dimensions created to fulfill the Most High's purpose. The Bible give us a brief account on how the Most High created the earth. Little information is given about the creation of the heavens. There is more to the heavens than the church is disclosing to the people. The Most High has done far more than what has been said to us in the beast system and in religion. If you wish to remain asleep, continue to listen to the teachings of the religious leaders in the beast system. If you wish to go beyond what you can see, strengthen your personal relationship with the Most High. Yahshua said that in his father's house, there are many mentions. Yahshua went on to say he will go and prepare a place for us. Enoch saw the mentions for the elect Yahshua spoke of. And after that, I saw all the secrets of the heavens and how the kingdom is divided and how the actions of men are weighed in the balance. And there I saw the mansions of the elect and the mansions of the holy. And my eyes saw there all the sinners being driven from thence, which deny the name of the Lord of spirits and being dragged off. And they could not abide because of the punishment which proceeds from the Lord of spirits. The righteous inherit this great place filled with mansions the day after judgment day, the day eternity begins. I know the church has taught you that when you die, you will go to heaven and begin eternity. That is false. There are prophecies that must take place before you inherit your final resting place. The resurrection must take place and the final battle between good and evil, Gog and Magog, must happen. After the great battle of Armageddon, the Most High will judge his creation. The scripture said that is the second death. The Most High will cleanse the earth from evil. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. And I saw the dead, small and great, 
stand before God. And the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. The righteous and the sinners will inherit eternity after the second death. The Bible give us an account of what eternity will be like for the righteous in the book of Revelations. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Right. For these words are true and faithful. The book of Revelation described the new city, Jerusalem. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain, and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God. And her light was like unto a stone, most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, and had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates. And at the gates twelve angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Let us go behind the scenes to hear about this great place where the righteous would spend eternity. Enoch's vision said there were seven mountains, three in the east and three in the south. In the middle of the mountains in the east and south was the seventh mountain. The scripture described the seventh mountain as the throne of the Most High. Then I answered him saying, I wish to know about everything, but especially about this tree. And he answered saying, This high mountain which thou hast seen, whose summit is like the throne of God, is his throne, where the Holy Great One, the Lord of glory, the eternal King, will sit, when he shall come down to visit the earth with goodness. There are fragrant trees encircled around the throne. Enoch described the trees as being beautiful and the trees resemble palms. The trees that encircled the throne of the Most High will be given to the righteous for their food. And as for this fragrant tree, no mortal is permitted to touch it till the great judgment, when he shall take vengeance on all and bring everything to its consummation forever. It shall then be given to the righteous and holy, and its fruit shall be for food to the elect. It shall be transplanted to the holy place, to the temple of the Lord, the eternal King. The book of Enoch described how the Most High will cleanse the earth from the sinners so that the righteous can dwell upon the earth in peace. The earth as we know it will pass away and a new heaven and earth was created for the righteous to dwell safely. The sinners and the wicked cannot enter the kingdom where the righteous will spend eternity. Then will I cause my elect one to dwell among them. And I will transform the heaven and make it an eternal blessing and light. And I will transform the earth and make it a blessing. And I will cause my elect ones to dwell upon it. But the sinners and evildoers shall not set foot thereon. For I have provided and satisfied with peace my righteous ones and have caused them to dwell before me. But for the sinners, there is judgment impending with me so that I shall destroy them from the face of the earth. Israelites and indigenous black people, before we can get to eternity, the scriptures must be fulfilled. The high level workers of iniquity has conditioned mankind to believe when they die, they will go to paradise, the place they call heaven. 
They fail to inform you that there is an afterlife before you get to eternity. When you die, your life is not over. Your life is just beginning. The life expectancy for most humans is under 100 years. 100 years to us is a lifetime. For the Most High, 100 years is not even one day. The scripture said a thousand years for the Most High is one day. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. Most people do not live past 100 years in the physical realm. The Most High said his spirit will not always strive with men. He will give men 120 years on earth. Our existence on earth is not long according to the Most High's calculation of a thousand years being equivalent to one day. We dwell in the physical realm for a short time. The scripture said in the book of James that we appear for a little time, then vanish. For as ye know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. Yahshua said to us in the scriptures that everything written must be fulfilled. Death doesn't stop prophecy. Everything must happen just as the Most High prophesied. The synagogue of Satan can manipulate the scriptures and create doctrines of devils to comfort the children of men. All prophecy will come to pass before eternity begins. If you were born in a generation before the tribulation period, the time of Jacob's trouble, and pass away, you're not going straight to heaven to start eternity because you died before the end times. Just as the Most High said to the spirits of men who are asking the Most High, how much longer must they wait for him to revenge their blood? The Most High respond that they must wait until all of the children of men who are predestined to be killed unjustly take place. And they cried with a loud voice saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given unto every one of them. And it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. The children of men who died before the end time must wait until all things written be fulfilled before they obtain eternity. All the righteous will enter eternal life together at the appointed time. Death does not speed up the process. That is why it is important for you to know the truth. The book of Enoch reveal where the spirit of the children of men assemble until judgment day when eternity begins. Sheol is the place in the afterlife. There is nothing secret the Most High has not made known. He will make everything known. But nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. The Israelites and indigenous black people must decide whom will you serve and believe. Are you going to serve the idols in the beast system that cannot save you and speak lies daily to you? Are you going to believe the scriptures and the truth of the Most High's words that would lead you to eternal life? The Most High gave all of his creation the opportunity to choose. Don't wait until you enter the afterlife to believe. By then it will be too late for you. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. The Most High said he raised prophets and teachers in every generation. The Most High charged his prophets to write down and preserve their visions to help the next generations. The children of men have the opportunity to read for themselves the visions and scriptures of old with the Holy Spirit. You can continue to listen to seducing spirits that cater to your flesh. The coming kingdom of the Most High is far more worthy than what Satan is offering in the beast system. What a waste of righteous in eternity is worth trusting the Most High and adhering to his statutes, commandments, and laws. As for me and my house, I will serve the Most High and seek his face to be guided into all truth. Now therefore fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth. And put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt. And serve ye the Lord. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye will serve, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land ye dwell. 
But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And the people answered and said, God forbid that we should forsake the Lord to serve other gods. But the Lord our God, he it is that brought us up and our fathers out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage, and which did those great signs in our sight, and preserved us in all the way wherein we went, and among all the people through whom we passed. And the Lord drave out from before us all the people, even the Amorites, which dwelt in the land. Therefore will we also serve the Lord, for he is our God.